Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a collab video with my friend Ashley Wagner. I have been a fan of hers for a really long time, so I was super excited to be able to do this collab with her. We wanted to create holiday looks for you guys that was very grungy, but also very glamorous at the same time. And of course, we wanted to incorporate some glitter in our looks. So if you want to check out Ashley's tutorial, then the link will be down below. But if you want to see how I created my look, then keep on watching. I always like to start off by prepping my eyes with an eyeshadow base and this is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and this will prevent creasing and bring out the pigments of the shadows. I like to start off by highlighting my brow bone and this is a shadow from Makeup Geek called Vanilla Bean and I just like to apply it with a soft fluffy eyeshadow brush. This next shadow is called Creme Brulee and this is also from Makeup Geek. I'm just applying with an angled eyeshadow brush in my crease and I'm going to use this as a transition color. This is Latte Eyeshadow and it's more of a cooler brown. I want to work with mostly cooler tones for this look so I'm just layering it over that transition color. I'm also sweeping this color on the majority of my lid, so I'm sweeping it from the corner of my brow all the way to the outer corner of my eye. This color is called Espresso and this is a MAC eyeshadow. Again, I'm applying it with a denser angled eyeshadow brush and I'm sweeping this in my socket to create depth and start to smoke out my eye. I wanted to layer more of a gray tone in my crease, so I'm taking this one from the Kat Von D palette. This is the Shade and Light Eye palette, and I'm just layering this over that brown we used in the crease, and I'm also flicking the ends out just to create more of an angled look in the outer corners. I'm working with the LA Girl Pro Primer in the black color and I'm going to place this in the outer and inner corner of my lower lid as a dark base because I'm going to be layering a black shadow on top and I want it to be as black as I can get it. So using a darker base always helps. Then you can use your fingers or a brush and just blend out that primer. This is Corrupt Eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and I'm going to pat this on my lids where we put that dark primer. The reason I'm leaving the center of my lid bare is because I'm going to layer on a glitter eyeshadow and I don't really need that center to be super dark. But I decided to go back and add a little bit more of that black shadow as a background for the glitter. And then I'm just going to blend it out with an angled brush right in the crease. I did add some black shadow on my brush just to blend out the edges so they weren't so harsh and just to smoke out the look a bit in my crease. Working with black eyeshadow can definitely be tricky so start off with less eyeshadow and build up to intensify the look. Now I'm going to skip to the complexion and I'm taking one of my favorite foundations. This is from Too Faced the Born This Way foundation and the color that I use is in sand and I'm just taking one of my favorite Sedona lace brushes to blend the foundation out. Now I want to conceal any dark circles under my eyes and brighten, so I'm taking the Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer from Bare Minerals in the color medium and applying that underneath my eyes and then I like to take a beauty blender just to kind of blend everything out. To keep everything in place, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder and applying that with my beauty blender and this will just make sure that the concealer does not crease and it just stays in place all day. I'm going back to the creme brulee eyeshadow in the angled brush and I'm just going to sweep this underneath my lower lashes. Oh, 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 oh,
I'm taking that black eyeshadow again and I'm going to sweep this underneath my lower lashes and kind of pull that black shadow out just to smoke up the look. This is LA Girl's Glide Gel Liner in the color Very Black and I love putting this in my waterline because the pigmentation of this pencil is so intense and I'm not worried that it will smudge at all either. Now I'm going to add some color to my complexion and this bronzer is from Bravon. This is the Dual Nature Contouring Bronzer in 70 degrees and sunny. I like to apply this on my temples, forehead, the hollows of my cheeks and on my neck just to add some color and bring some shape to my face. I like to add a little bit more definition to my cheekbones, so I'm taking the Kat Von D Shadow Play Contouring Powder and applying this right in the hollows of my cheeks. Now I'm taking one of my favorite blushes of all time, and this is the Milani Baked Blush in Bellissimo Bronze, and I'm just sweeping this on my cheeks for a little bronzy color. Time to really bump up this look and add some glitter. This is from MAC, it's called Reflex Gold. And I'm applying this first underneath my lower lashes right in the center with some glitter adhesive, which I will list down below in the description box. I'm pulling that glitter down underneath my eye to create kind of like an upside down triangle just to make it look like I'm crying glitter. I thought it would be a fun detail, but you can do it however you would like. Now I'm just layering that glitter right on the center of my lid just to add a little bit more sparkle. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I'm just applying a couple layers to my top and bottom lashes. To glam up my eyes, I'm taking my favorite pair of lashes, and these are the Coco Lashes in the style Foxy. I wanted my bottom lashes to be just as thick, so these are the number 302s from Coco Lashes. Now I'm highlighting my cheekbones and I'm so sorry I forgot to record the clip of the product but this is the Diamond Glow Powder from Artist Couture in the color Gold Digger. Besides my cheekbones I also like to highlight down my nose and on the sides. I also like to apply it on the tops of my cupid's bow and above my brow. To outline my lips I'm taking a MAC Strip Down Lip Pencil which is one of my favorites and is perfect color for nude lips. Then I'm layering on top the Too Faced Melted Liquid Longwear Lipstick in the color Melted Nude. All right, so that's the end of my tutorial. I hope you guys love this collab with me and Ashley. And it was just so much fun to create this look for the holidays with a little twist to it. And please check out Ashley. All her links will be down below. She's such an amazing artist and I've been such a fan of her. So this was so much fun. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.